America. I know we don't want to talk about politics, but I will say this. Everyone was camping on YouTube and Twitter and X yesterday to do a blind reaction to Captain America 4 and all the scoopers like it wasn't me. Uh, my time to shine. Hello was pointing this way. Our, Daniel RPK was pointing this way. Well, I was just reporting on others said, but basically it probably was supposed to premiere yesterday, but there was, uh, if you're watching the current politics, there was a, a special um, press conference that may have pushed it out. And they're like, ah, let's just wait till tomorrow because there's a lot of people on this, which was smart. If I do, I don't know if that's accurate, but that may be why the trailer got delayed till Friday. But this is fresh for me. Uh, I, what's your initial thoughts before we watch this? I really like Anthony Mackie as Captain America. Um, I'm really looking forward to what they do. I actually really like the Isaiah Bradley story too. I don't know if they're going to re revisit that. And I'm really happy that they're talking about the Red Hulk in here and Harrison Ford. Um, how, how, where is it on your radar for Captain America 4? As the, as the next Marvel movies. I'll be honest. I didn't even watch um, uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier um, show. I know it. I know it was really good, or like folks really enjoyed it. So I that's on my homework list. But okay. hopefully this trailer gets me amped to you know go back and just do a day of you know watching that. So that would be a success for the trailer for you if you watch it. You're intrigued for the movie, and you're like, maybe I'm now going to finally watch Falcon before it comes out. Oh yeah, that's definitely up there. Okay, that's. This yeah, I have like, you know, more than six months <laughs> Okay, or eight, eight months or so. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there's some great moments in there. I think the villain is the weak part. But other than that, I love the story. I really like, uh, well, I don't want to spoil anything. There's a character in there, Isaiah Bradley, who's kind of like one of the, why, well, never mind. I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to spoil in case you don't know. Let's just react. The show's will, three years old. So well, there's, <laughs> he's like, he was like, okay. His story is so interesting because he was really one of the first ones before Steve Rogers. They were experimenting on the super soldier serum, but they were saying uh, America is not ready for a black Captain America. So they went a different way. And it's very interesting how they handle um, where the the uh, the world was there with, uh, you know, African-Americans. And then also where it is in current days. And it not, does not stray away from those topics at all. And that was one of the strongest parts of it. And there's some beautiful moments between um, Captain America, um, th his version, and Isaiah Bradley. Some of their conversations. And towards the end, there was a beautiful moment that I just loved. That just really touched the heart. Um, and there, there is a speech too that everyone said was cringe, but I thought it was a great. I thought it was my favorite parts of the of the series. Anyways, uh, I would highly recommend Captain or Falcon and the Winter Soldier definitely. Okay, so now let's get to reacting, and I will pause this occasionally just for transformative reasons. I'm sure you underwear under, understand or, or aware. Okay. He's turned up. Wilson. Thanks for coming in. Well, thank you for the invite, sir. I have to admit, I'm still getting used to the new look. They said to uh, lose the mustache or lose the election. <laughs> I like how they address that because of, I believe it was like John Hurd is no longer with us. Uh, I like that they recast a role, but that I like how they handled that. That was smart. Right at the way you give some humor with a sticky situation. but And I love seeing Harrison Ford in the MCU now. <laughs> Yeah, he's right. actually looking like he's having fun a little bit. Sometimes and, he phones it in. <laughs> yeah, and he's running for president, I think, here as well, which is going to be interesting, I think. Or he's, he's running for something. Hold on. Yeah. You and I, I haven't always agreed in the past, but I want to make another run at making Captain America an official military position. Ooh. And if we disagree on how to manage this situation, then what happens? Ooh, the RO... Work with me, Sam. We'll show the world a better way forward. Oh, is that that's Isaiah Bradley there? Oh no! I just said I, Raya. I didn't even know that he was going to be in this trailer. And then there's a very intense scene with him 
and I'm very confused and upset because I love this character. <laughs> Oh boy! Was it the uh, long game? Was it the long con? I'm sad no, I did. I didn't. I did not know. I I didn't know Isaiah Bradley was going to factor into the story, but it this is, does not look good. It looks like he's going to be. <sighs> There's so much backstory to this this scene, and he's it. I don't even know if that's him. I don't know. All right, let's watch. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, your inner circle has been compromised. Either you can't see that, or you don't want to. What is this a trap? Global power is shit. That was the. That's the next Falcon on the left there. Oh. Oh. Is that um? Is that revealed yeah. in the show? Uh, yes. I think the show. I'm trying to think of any of the Avengers movies. I definitely the show. Yes. Just a pawn. You may be Captain America, but you're not Steve Rogers. Ooh. You're right. I'm not. Yeah! Hey! This is awesome. Uh, we're not even done yet, and I, I'm saying now Falcon the Winter Soldier is definitely required watching now that I'm seeing the trailer. I love it though. It, it's got the political intrigue and politics and superheroes again, like the first three Captain America movies. Really intense. And this even this is even more intense with the character Isaiah Bradley, how that's gonna factor in. Uh and man, Ross, General Ross, we've seen him before, but this is the most intense I've seen. No, no shade to John Hurt, the previous version of, of Ross, but he is intimidating. Harrison Ford's eating up the scenes when he's, you know, he's intimidating with the pressure of you got to listen to me. This is how it's going to be. Oh, boy. I loved it. I loved it. Uh, my favorite Marvel trailer in quite some time. This is my favorite Marvel trailer since Deadpool Wolverine. And you know how I, I didn't watch it and Retro Bro texted me. He's like, whoa. He's like, I don't know. I'm not in the movies and stuff. He te This is just from an outsider outside of our bubble because he's covering, you know, he loves video games. He doesn't see many movies. He's like, that looks good. Did you? I got to call him after this. Yes, this looks really good. And I... I like to give a rating on my reactions. I would say 10 out of 10. This is really up there with me with Deadpool and Wolverine. Not as much as Deadpool and Wolverine, but it's pretty close for the for the character himself. I cannot wait to see this movie. February 2025. That's not too far away. Um, what, what would you say about this trailer, Rhea? I'll be honest, a lot of the impact is lost on me. Oh, um, because, okay. Yeah, because of the lack of context I have with the show. But to be totally honest, as far as like the Captain America movies, um, I maybe watched them like once and mm -hmm. then I never really revisited them. So okay. my attachment to the this, you know, character and like the arc and stuff, um, Captain America and then Falcon and then Falcon as the Captain America, like or becoming Captain America, like that whole, you know, like story arc. Um yeah, it's uh, I'm a little like disconnected from it a little bit just because like it's not as fantastical, you know, like, yes. Uh, yeah. Or, yeah. So like it kind of, you know, it's it's so grounded in like it, is, it has a lot of military and politics and stuff involved in it, too. Right. Uh, so that's it's kind of you know, I, I get into that, but I can understand. So so and, there's all you have a lot of homework for it then. Just to I see do. If you, I mean, I don't want to disappoint anyone, but for me, like, uh, it's nope. a six out of ten because just because, like, oh. just because, like, I have so little, no, no, like, you fine. know, context. I, like, you maybe don't hurt it'll my improve. feelings. <laughs> no, you don't hurt my. I get. I understand. It hit me hard because I have. I'm attached to these characters, and I. I think they sold. Um, hit the story of the new Captain America, Sam Fisher, or no, is it Sam Wilson? Uh, in the new Captain America and Falcon, the Winter Soldier, and Isaiah Bradley, their stories were so they they do a lot of their family. It's very emotional. 
The story's so good in there that I, that's why I'm so attached. And then seeing Isaiah Bradley right there, that was a shocker. I was like, oh no, what's going on with Isaiah? And then there's also ramifications for the young Avengers too, because Isaiah has a grandson as well, which might lead into the young Avengers too. And this is, you know, the history of the Captain America program is really explored in Falcon and Winter Soldier. But that's fine. Six out of ten. You don't hurt my feelings. I've been on the, on the internet long enough, Rhea, that I think you're wrong. <laughs> but that's only because you don't have all the context. And, you know, and even if you did have that, it's fine to give it a six out of ten. I give I, it ten I out of ten. I don't have any malicious intent. No, me. no, no. You want it to be great. I know that. Yes. You love yeah. great content. So that was our blind reaction. That was it was really a blind reaction. I didn't see it. Rhea didn't see it. I'm impressed. And I think we have uh so thanks for watching and please engage wherever this is on X, YouTube, or whatever. Let us know your thoughts about Captain America 4. We really appreciate it.